we're about to head out to Happy Lemon in Bellevue Square. This is the first edition of our um, uh, reviews. So stay tuned to what we, the content that we'll bring you guys. <laughs> yes. Hey guys, so a little bit about Happy Lemon is that it was founded in 2006 and the reason why they chose Lemon as part of their name is because they wanted to choose the healthy, <laughs> healthy, <laughs> they wanted to choose the healthy alkaline fruit to promote it as sort of like um, a healthy, like show the healthier side of the drinks and stuff. Happy Lemon's trying to promote Chinese tea culture all around the world, and this category that they specializes is in the salt, cheese, cream, foam. That is all. We are parked Bellevue Square, and we are now going up the stairs. Wow. As you can see. Wow. Where are we headed? To Bellevue Square. I mean, we're kind of already here, but... Hi! Hey. Alright. Alright, so we just went to Happy Lemon. I got the strawberry black tea with rock salt crema. Wow, she can't even remember it. She's reading I had to off read the it. thing. <laughs> I got the um, ooh, fresh peppermint lemon mojito. And you made fun of me for whatever. Reading it. whatever. Okay, so I got a large, by the way. I got a medium. Um, I wanted a medium, but my friend worked there, so he got me a large. Shout out to you, Bruce. <laughs> Surprise! We have three drinks that we're gonna review today. We both got a drink that sounded good to us. And then we also got like a standard milk tea that's pretty common. It's boba milk tea, which is, you know, just regular black milk tea. And it comes with boba in it already, hence the boba milk tea. Yeah. So the rubric that we're judging, or not judging, but reviewing all these drinks on, we got three, is tapioca. How cooked it is. Is it, has it taste? Is it flavored? Is it warm? Is it cold? Um... The taste of the drink, if you can actually taste the tea, or is it overpowered by something else, say like mint or strawberry, as those are our two drinks that we got. Price? Yeah, I mean, that was pretty self explanatory We'll do that one later. Uh, the menu, their selection of menu, and the store layout, which I think is also very important. So let's get into this. We're gonna do a first impression now. Okay, I got the strawberry black tea with rock salt crema. First impression is it looks cute, like that. It's not, I don't know if it's supposed to mix like that, but you're supposed to like lift up the top to drink it. Oh, this barely lifts open. I know, I don't like those, but then you pop it. Yeah. Oh, you pop it where? Right, you oh. pop it in there. And you're supposed to drink it at a 45 degree angle. I believe I will taste cream cheese first. Oh, sea salt, uh, probably a little salty of a drink then. Um, and then strawberry black tea, you can't really go wrong with that. It's probably gonna be really overpowering on the strawberry though. All right, let's go. A lot of cream. A lot of cream. It's like whipped cream basically, a little salty. Um, I just basically taste strawberries. I don't taste any hint of black tea at all. Really? Yeah. Let me taste it. The cream was good. It was like, um, the only strawberry things I taste are like the little bits. Yeah, the little that they chunks. Have it. Yeah, it was kind of surprising. It was like going down my throat and I was like, what is this? Yeah, it was like when you sip it, it has like a good half half, like, this is what goes in your mouth. So this is the cream <laughs> and then this is the drink. Yeah. And it, the cream obviously comes first and then it comes flowing out half yeah. half. So, I mean, I mean, it was, it was good. It's drinkable. Yeah, it's drinkable. I don't think, <clears throat> I don't know if I would get it again though. Yeah. And obviously because it's a crema and like, um, no toppings. We didn't get yeah. any toppings yeah, for this Yeah, we didn't get any toppings in this. I didn't get any toppings for my yeah. mojito either, which, uh, mojito is like kind of like, um, what's that one word? <laughs> Soda. Like, like soda water? 
No, oh, carbonation. Car- yeah, so, look, <laughs> mojito is like kind of like carbonated and so, like soda and peppermint lemon. Like it just sounded interesting to me. I don't know if it's good, but we'll see. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, so it's very like um uh the sweetness of it. It's not really sweet. It's mainly just like lemon. I'm can't I can't really taste like the peppermint flavor, but it's kind of fresh, and I think that's because it's like a mojito. You know what I mean? So it's like a refreshing drink. Kinda, yeah. Okay. And you can't really I for me I can't really taste the peppermint. I don't. Okay. I don't know, but it's like fresh yeah. in your mouth. I like how they have the lemon slice and the mint in there, mm-hmm. but um, in my opinion, I don't really like mint drinks because it's like I'm drinking mouthwash. Well, not for that. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. Yeah. It's really, it's too light. I taste the lemon rind though. Yeah. Yeah. If I was to go here again, I would not get this. But it was a good, it's a yeah. part of their specialty series, mm-hmm. so it's like, as mine was as well too. Yeah, so it should be like, at least try it once, but then see if you want to get it again. Yeah, so I guess texture of mine, I didn't really like it because the chunks. There's too much chunks coming at me. This actually was four dollar, like four seven, four seventy five for a medium, and that's pretty steep. But I, I guess receipts. it's. Oh yeah, we got receipts too. We kept it. We're yeah, professional. We're, 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 Receipt. Yeah, four ninety five for a small or medium. Sorry, mm. but tax makes it expensive <laughs> with the ten percent tax in Washington State. Um, appearance was really good though. I like the appearance. Appearance, sweetness. It was pretty standard. I didn't. We didn't change anything about sweetness or any of the drinks that we got. Yeah. So there's that. She got less ice. I forgot oh, yeah. about that and kept mine normal. But it's basically already all melted. <laughs> If anything, it's floating at the top, but mm. yeah, yeah. I don't know. The more I drink this, the more I kind of like it. Actually, if I get it hit the right angle. Oh, yeah. the angle makes the yeah. difference, does it? What's forty-five degrees? I don't know. For- what was the right angle for you? Ninety. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the first angle I did. What about you, Raymond? How was your drink overall? My drink overall. I mean, like I said, I wouldn't get it again. But as as I sip it more, it's like kind of refreshing so maybe if i'm feeling something not milk tea or like very sugary i'll get this okay yeah all right so our last drink that we got is a standard the standard milk tea that we showed you earlier with boba dun 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 it is boba milk tea again for a reminder i will let you do the honors oh, wow. i get the honors this time i'm dead <laughs> did you see how strong she was one, two, three. Ooh. Yeah. All right. First impression. First impression of it. I really like the tapioca, but other than that, it tastes like milk and water. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know if it's because the ice melted a little bit in there, probably, but I feel like. There's no tea flavor presence, and you don't really taste. You taste the milk, but it's overpowered by the water in the end. Yep. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, and the tapioca isn't cooked at all either. I mean, not cooked. Uh, it's not flavored at all. So there's like no honey, no sugar in the and the tapioca. Yeah, mainly when you get a milk tea and you get boba in it. Other like there's a lot of places that do um honey boba and so that's kind of like the sweetness for the drink yeah but this one it's like exactly how she described it i was like what are you talking about and then <laughs> i drank it and it was like <clears throat> yeah milk and water yeah i mean tapioca on this one is really good it's but, good yeah. but i'd rather prefer flavored yeah boba but they also do have like other toppings they yeah. have like lychee jelly and lychee jello i don't the difference but um they also have taro balls um it's kind of like mochi and then the standard boba and jelly mm-hmm. other yeah. jellies yeah um so the sweetness there isn't really any sweetness on it no so. and we kept it standard too so nothing yeah. changed about it <laughs> yeah 
Um, I mean, other than that, that's pretty much all. So I guess overall, what would you give the whole store of Happy Lemon out of five? Out of five, I'd give it like a four. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, because oh, I mean, that's like, generous. I mean, it's pretty okay. I'm not very picky with yeah. what I drink, but like for boba, it's kind of you gotta be picky about it. Yeah. So. I would honestly give it a three because it wasn't like the best, but it wasn't the worst. Mm -hmm. Like I would go there again, but it's not a first choice for me. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> I'm Selena. I'm Raymond, and, and we, we are, are Boba, Boba Binge. Binge, bringing you quality content about anything and everything Boba related. Until next time, peace. Yeah. <laughs>